Hello everyone, welcome to your new series of <coughs> QuickBooks Accountants. Here we will be discussing the QuickBooks Online Accountant for bookkeeping purposes. QuickBooks is a very important accounting tool that is used by mainly a lot of accountants uh, th throughout the globe. It helps you tra track the business efficiently and without much trouble. As much as it is helpful for the accountants, it, it plays a pivotal role for the owners of the business as well. As if they do not intend to hire any accountant, this tool is so easy to navigate and so easy to understand that it can help you out without paying, the, paying for the trouble of an accountant. And you can easily maintain the business numbers at your tips. On your screen, you can see the sample company dashboard. Sample company is basically an inbuilt, inbuilt uh, demo company for all the accountants that we, it, all the users, accountants, business owners to get them get themselves comfortable with the with the QuickBooks itself. It shows how the QuickBooks work. It helps you to make errors, trial and errors. Uh, you can uh, play around and you can understand how it is working. Uh, the good thing about it is that uh, you run through a session and when you come back, uh, the, all the transitions will be reset to its original form. So in front of you, you can see it is for a long, a company name is given that is a long for successfully when sample company and its dashboard is available for you. So the dashboard, it really covers more or less all of the areas that are concerned with ourselves like for example you can see that invoices are given here expenses it's uh, it's summary and uh, for the uh, for how many period that these are outstanding the bank accounts that are linked profit and loss statement which is very crucial for any business and sales for the given period We'll start with the basics like for example here it is an it is a hamburger sign what happens here if i click it it will hide the left left uh, task screen which will which will give me more room to navigate through here you got uh, your company name uh, your company tab this here uh, in a normal mode you will see as the up, up, a point where you can uh, toggle through your different companies that is sample company any other company that you are working on uh, so it is basically for the accountants so they can uh, contain uh, a number of companies over here the help portion as as uh, the names uh, indicates it helps you on all your matters that are you can that is your uh, 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 that are requiring any kind of attention and uh, this is a search bar if I click it it will help me to search for different transactions different areas that are that different reports within the accountant then this this specific sign it is to just give me the settings that are set for all my company uh, for all my stuff that is the, my company the list that I maintain the tools other tools that are concerned with the uh, with the QuickBooks and the profile overall profile that I have maintained over here on my left le on my left hand side I've, I've got a task pane where all this all the relevant areas that are of importance are mentioned the dashboard banking sales expenses projects payroll so it really summarizes all of it and it makes it very easy to uh, navigate through the same and this specific icon it is very important and it gives you a shortcut for all the things that you can that you can start into the uh, into the uh, into the company like you can see the customers, you know, you need to raise invoices or receive any payment estimates that you are going to record for 
as a thing, a credit note, sales receipt, refund receipt. So it has all to do with this. This this bar is all to do with the customers. Then we have also another uh, area where we are concerned with suppliers, the expenses, the payments that we are making, the bills that we are recording, purchase order, supply credit. It is very self-explanatory, and we will go through in detail once uh, we are going into the individual areas. Then employees that uh, that employ simple a single time activity, weekly time sheets. This area helps you to record the payroll for the company. Anything other than that, bank deposits, transfer, journal entry, statement, statement. These are all things that we will encounter once we go through it on by on task by task basis what we have for you here is that we will be going through uh, a different area a different area that are very key and pivotal for you to navigate through the quickbooks one area that is concerned that uh, like i'll just give you a short uh, overview that uh, we will be talking about money in what money in is it it talks about all the sales that we are making we are generating and we are recording these how how these sales are recorded into the system how the if the sales are credit how do how we do that if the sales are on cash how we go about it and if uh, in in terms of the sales that are recorded on credit how to record once the money is received so all the nitty gritties of accounting will be dealt here and it will be so precise and it will be so easy to understand that uh, I think uh, it is uh, easy for uh, easy and understandable for even a business owner who has less accounting background. Then we talk about money out. Money out is just if you see it simply, if you put it simply, it is just the opposite of money in like uh, we're in money in we are recording the sales and money out we'll be dealing with expenses we'll be dealing with expenses when uh, we are just booking them and uh, recording a liability if we are on, uh, if we are booking an expense and at the same time when we are making the payment so and how to uh, how to first record an expense and then subsequently pay out the liability so this is more or less all we will be discussing in the money out topic these are very basic things that uh, any accountant will definitely be aware of it is just how we are going to do in quickbooks that we will be discussing the basics of banking here we will be discussing how the banks are integrated with quickbooks and uh, how the uh, how different reconciliations that are done that is, that is the bank account that is appearing, uh, banks, bank balance that is appearing in the bank statement and the balances that are appearing within the QuickBooks. Once we are done with this, we will go into a detailed, uh, a, a more advanced level. We will, we will be discussing advanced banking and how to integrate VAT, and, uh, VAT into the system. And then there will be some thing to talk about uh, deleting and voiding, voiding the transactions. Once we are through this, we will be discussing the reports that are being discussed, what are the accounting tools, and how we are going to customize QuickBooks for our business, and what the QuickBooks online accounting dashboard is. So in all, we will be having a very precise and very uh, like a short and precise uh, overview of all the activities that we are going to through uh, going through within the QuickBooks. We will be uh, covering this all in our later later uh, videos uh, and the videos that should be digestible to you guys because it is very difficult to uh, difficult to go through a long video and not to lo not to lose track. So we will be making it very precise and we will be very to the point for you so that you maintain the interest within them and you definitely t uh, learn from all these videos. So until later, until the next video, I will be signing off and we will be joining in the next video with the money, money in topic. 
Thank you, guys.